Hey there Stitchers, how's it going? This is Jessie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff here on YouTube and I am back with another video. Today is going to be a, what I'm hoping, a lickety split super fast video. Um, I have to leave for class probably right now, but I'm going to wait until I can get this uploading onto YouTube because I'm so excited about it that I just kind of wanted to talk to you about it. So this is going to be the unveiling of my secret stitching. Now, let's see, at some point last week, and I don't remember which day it was, um, I was on the Hangout, but I was only chatting because I was working on secret stitching, and I didn't really want to show anybody what this was. And the reason for that is that I was waiting on some threads. So, oh, before I get into it, we'll talk about this, but not right now. Um, okay, so, I have decided to start, are you ready for this? the Blackwork Journey Box of Delights. But I'm renaming it and I'm changing a few things. Um, so this is, first of all, this is the new free pattern from Liz Almond. She is the designer behind uh, the Blackwork Journey Save the Stitches, which is a ginormous blackwork pattern. It's beautiful, it's stunning. I want to do it myself one day, but I didn't really have room or um, I couldn't make any decisions on what colors I wanted to use. So, I decided to forego that temporarily. And then, last week, Orieta um, posted on our Facebook group, Cross Stitch It's Fun, about the new one, Blacks of Delights, which is also free. Um, and basically what it boils down to is it is a maximum of 6x6, six six, so 36 um, small black work designs. Um, and Liz Allman provides three options. You can do the navy fabric with white, I think, the traditional black work with cream or off-white or white fabric with black, or there's a colored version. I am doing the colored version. And um, I have decided to do the 4x4 four four because she, has, she also has it organized so that you can choose the size that you want to do. You can do only one. You can do all 36, you can do 5x5, five five. it's pretty much completely up to you. Um, I am doing the 4x4, four four, so there will be 16 individual patterns, um, all stuck together. And I am calling this the Birdie Bots Box of Delights. So all you Harry Potter uh, fanatics out there, you will understand that reference. Um, I am theming my entire black work um, design here around Harry Potter. And I'm using the quotes on purpose because I'm not using black at all. I'm not using um, DMC 310 in the slightest. I am instead using DMC 3799, which is a deep dark gray that looks black. You know, it's close enough. Um, so in April, I'm starting the new Northern, Northern Expressions Needleworks stitch along. It's called Not Quite White Work. And then this is my Not Quite Black Work. I'm, I'm cheesy like that. Okay, so um, in the first block, she released six patterns because it's six by six. So she's supposedly, from what I understand, going to release six at a time. And I picked four from that first block to do for my first band. And so I'll go ahead and show you my band, and then I'll talk about colors. So there we have it. And those of you familiar with Harry Potter and Moe's Sale will know what these colors are, but nonetheless. So, let's see. So first we have Gryffindor in that red and yellow pattern. And then Hufflepuff. It's pale greens and yellows. Um, and then I did some French knots in the 37.99 and then we have the Ravenclaw right here which is one of my favorites with um, some of the 37.99 accents and then Slytherin over here and then again I incorporated some of the um, 37.99 because Slytherin it looks a little pale and like pastel colored more than like what I would imagine is Slytherin so these are straight from Moe's sale. And so we have Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw 
and Slytherin. So you see what I'm saying? It's kind of soft greens. I mean, you know, they look serpentile enough, but nonetheless. Okay, so those are, those are the houses. Okay, so then next, I kind of had a look at the Moe's that I had. Now I did order the Moe's um, Harry Potter collection, and I kind of had a look at those, and I determined sort of how I wanted to theme things and how I wanted to organize them. And some of them match what I want them to, and some of them don't. And then I didn't have enough colors to make up a 16, um, a 16 pattern piece. I knew I was never going to find 36. Um, I'm just too particular about the colors that I want to try to find 36 Harry Potter items that I could relay into floss colors. Um, it was just going to be too crazy. And I wanted to stick to variegated flosses because I don't use my variegates very often. So... So that's sort of what I try to do. So now I'm just going to go through the colors that I have here and what they're going to represent on my Birdie Bots Box of Delights. So this one is Harry. And this is actually Harry from Mosale. I mean, this is what she has it. It's a rainbow of colors, which I think I'm okay with just because of everything that Harry goes through. It's a lot, you know, it's okay that it's a bunch of colors. So there's that one. And then we have Ron, and this is Fall from Mosail. So it's got reds for the red hair and browns. Originally, I had purchased, originally my plan was to use Fiberlicious Wild Cherry for Ron, but on the computer, the pink looked much more red whereas it's looking much more pink in real life, so I don't think that that's really a good match. So instead, we're going to go with Fall for Ron. And then we have... This is Hermione, and it is actually Fall Storm. So we've got the brown for her hair, and I thought that the yellow was going to turn out more cream. It's, it's showing up more cream to you guys, of course. Um, but I kind of wanted it to represent like book pages and that sort of a thing. Um, but it's got a good brown for her fluffy brown hair. So, fall storm. And then, so that's Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And then I was trying to decide what my fourth person would be. And I picked Voldemort. So this is Shades of Green from Fiberlicious. Just cool greens. Deep, deep, dark green, almost black. Very Voldemort-like. So then I decided to move on to the animals. So I had a long debate with myself about what I was going to do for this one. And I finally picked a color for Hedwig. And this is Frosty from Mosail. Gosh, Mo smells so good. So it's like a pale, pale, pale blue. And then there's some gray in there, which I think is very Hedwig-like. So there's Hedwig. And then this is Scabbers, just a gray rat with like pink undertones. This is actually Hagrid from Mosail, but I decided to go with this for Scabbers. I didn't really get Hagrid from this color. I got more like rat tones. It, it's sufficient. And then Crookshanks, which is the least variegated color we're going to have here. It's Fanta from Mosail, but... <laughs> Crookshanks is orange. Like, there's no other way to describe Crookshanks. So, there we go. Fanta. And then, last but not least, we have Trevor. Neville's Toad. Aren't those toad-like colors? I think those are great. And this is... What is this? Quiet Stone. Sorry about that. Yep, Quiet Stone. So, there we go. And then my last four. This one is sort of like random things in the world of Harry Potter that I kind of came up with. Um, so the first one, the whole project is called Birdie Bots Box of Delights. So of course I had to have a Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. And so this is like a multitude of colors, just like Harry is, but very cool. And this one is Clown from Fiberlicious. And then for Quidditch, originally I thought to use... What is this? Perfect Pansy from Fiberlicious. 
But this um, purple here, it looks more blue on my computer screen um, because I kind of wanted the snitch in the gold, the green for the field, and then the blue for the sky. And that's really purple. I mean, that's that's not really blue at all. So I decided to use Snitch from Mosale. And so it's got kind of a blue-green that falls into yellow for the Snitch. And this is Mosale, like I said. So there's that. And then Hogwarts. When I think of Hogwarts, I think of just like Hogwarts at night. That's really all I can think of. And so like dark blues and midnight colors and stuff like that. So this is Ocean, Ocean Ridge from Fiberlicious. And it's just got the deep dark blues for the lake and cool things like that. This last one, I had originally decided to try to find like a gold color to do for the Deathly Hollows. Um, but I forgot to order the color that I wanted for it and I don't really want to wait anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm impatient like that. So I'm probably going to do this and this is Patronus from Mo Sale. So I'll do that for Patronus. Or I'll have a look through my stash and see if I have anything else that's a variegate that I might be able to use. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them. Maybe there's some element of the Harry Potter world that absolutely should be in this that I'm not including. Um, and yeah, so this turned out to be a lot longer than I intended. I have got to run because I have to get to class. So I will see you guys in the next one. I am probably going to record tomorrow because Stitchy Plans needs to happen. So, yeah. Alright guys, see you later.